The next one of our Extreme Express packages that we put together is called the 50 XTB Extreme Performance. This is the tunnel package that incorporates the top brush. Again, we need those same minimum dimensions. We need 55 feet inside dimension to keep the correlator indoors. We need it 16 feet wide to handle our widest piece of equipment. And then we also need it 12 foot six tall to get all of our equipment inside the tunnel. The Extreme TV incorporates a top brush. This is where we're in a rural area. We've got some really tough dirt on there, some fallout, we're in the city, um, different type of climate. We want that extreme cleaning power to get every car done, bugs, uh, windshield eyebrows. So we've incorporated the TB in here. The, the unit comes with, again, the eight by uh, eight foot correlator. It comes with a 50 foot conveyor utilizing front wheel pull. When we do that, we maximize our conveyor length. Again, we've got our entrance management system with a set of photo eyes and a tire locator switch that'll tell us where the tires are so we can efficiently and effectively apply our wheel cleaner to it. Also, we go into, again, a set of reverse wraparounds. Our customers tell us this is the most friendly and safest wraparound they've ever used, so this is what we put in our Extreme Express because that's important to our customers. And the reverse wraparound will be outfitted with, with preferably microclean because that's our maximum cleaning performance material that we have, but it can also be done with Neoglide or cloth depending on your preference. After that, we go right into that top brush. The top brush is fitted with Neoglide. It's probably one of the safest and best cleaning top brushes we've, created, we've ever had the experience of using and creating. It's counterweighted with a simple counterbalance. It only works with counterbalance. The retract is only to raise it up. One of the only uh, drawbacks on here is if you've got some vehicles with bike racks and luggage racks, you may need to do some prepping or some hand cleaning or, or actually have them do something different to wash their car in another area of the property. Um, the top brush needs to wash the top of the car. Without it, you can't clean it. Underneath that, we're gonna go with our poodle brush. The poodle brush is designed to clean not only the black wall and white wall, but also the rims. It actually has a 12 inch diameter brush, then a six inch diameter, and it staggers throughout the brush. And that staggering allows the fingers of that brush to reach in and agitate the wheels and loosen up the brake dust so that the high pressure can clean them off. On top of that rocker brush, we're gonna use our TBG 18 outfitted with bristle with feather tipped edges to help clean not only the rocker panel, which is one of the toughest spots, but even the wheel again. That's gonna help us get that wheel clean just like we would in a 100 foot tunnel and only 50 feet at 60 cars an hour. After that unit, we're gonna go right into our SP100 pivoting spinner with the turbo and plus nozzles. It's designed to pivot and follow the wheel so we get maximum cleaning and rinsing of the brake dust and the cleaners that we had put on there to clean the wheels. Right after that there, we're gonna go into our Rain MA. The Rain MA will be fitted with a drying agent, rain arch, a seal wax rain arch, and then a final rinse or spot free if you choose. And incorporating in that arch, we're gonna bring in the extra services because that's important. In this arch, we'll have our total body protectant. That'll be provided by any one of the suppliers that make a, a, t a total body protectant product. You can utilize our arch or our frame to mount their arch in it. At the beginning of the wash, we can put our uh, triple foam on and in this application, we're going to use it as a triple foam conditioner to clean and condition the car before we put on the protectants at the very end. And of course, what car wash would be complete without a tire shine machine? We've incorporated a wide blower arch that will allow us to put our tire shine machine in this short tunnel so we can give them all the services that they can get at the 100, 100 footer or the 120 footer or the full serve down the street. They can buy them all from you and your Extreme Express. After that, we'll be incorporating four air dryers on two arches. We'll have two elephant ears, one on each side, and then we'll also have two top nozzles using our round discharge nozzle so we get maximum performance in that short space. At that slow chain speed, we'll get a great dry car, which will make our customers extremely happy, extremely satisfied, and we'll do it extremely quick. I've been in a dilemma, and I've got like 50 or 60 automatics. And quite honestly, I've got right now, I've got, I got eight automatics I need to replace. What do I do? Do I go in and replace an old technology with a new machine, but still an old technology? And I'm thinking, I, I don't want to do that. I mean, I'm right back where I am. And th that doesn't deter someone coming across the street or down the block and putting in an express tunnel. So what I'm doing now and what I've decided to do is a lot of the automatics we've built are in 38 foot bays and we've actually built porches or extended the roof out over an additional 24 feet because in the touchless business, we felt like if we get the car out of the sun, 
for a couple minutes and cool the paint down before we put the pre-soak on, we do a better job. So we try to get in the shade. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna glass in those those 24 foot porches and we're gonna have a 62 foot tunnel with a, where we can, we're gonna have a, a, a front, a rear wheel push. But if we don't have room, we're gonna pull, up, pull them through on the front wheel and I'm gonna be able to offer uh, a synergy of services. I'm gonna be able to offer uh, express tunnel with free vax. I'm gonna be able to offer a touchless automatic because I'm gonna replace the soft cloth automatic and leave the touchless automatic in and I'm gonna be able to offer self-service and also pay vax with the self-serve. So I feel like that my plan for the future is really good and I really, uh, it's because of uh, uh, the technology changes. Uh, being able to, I think we can, we, we built a, uh, an express tunnel in a in an 85 foot building in Gallatin. But we didn't have room to, to get it on the conveyor before we got in the building, so we had to get on the conveyor in the building. So we got an 80 foot conveyor in the building, but we only have like a 62 foot tunnel where we actually have equipment. And it works great. We're getting the cars clean. We're washing them in two minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, the chain speed's much slower than a lower tunnel, but we're still getting them clean. And because the car's going through slower, we're getting more revolutions on, on the cloth and we're getting more drip spot. We're not going to have drip length or space, but we have the same drip time. So we're, we're, uh, we're going to go back and, and do this at all our locations. And, and uh, we've got, uh, I looked at, we've got 26 locations that we can make this work really well. And, First we looked at that, we said, well, if we make this express tunnel, we don't have lineup space, we don't have room for the cars to park and all. But guess what? With express tunnel, I don't need the lineup space and I don't need to. It's actually a better fit for me in places where I don't have space or don't have a lineup room because I can I can still wash the cars fast. The extreme express tunnel for me is just a, a, a very, very good fit. It'll give my customers better service. I'll be able to wash more cars. It'll be a deterrent competition. Uh, I can wash cars faster. I've got labor at the automatics, at, at the t where I got the store, I got two automatics and self-service space. I got labor there already. Uh, it's just a plus plus, you know, a win-win. The next package we want to talk about in the Extreme Express series is our Extreme TF, the Extreme Touchless Car Wash Package. This one here, it's not gonna wash as uh, the car is as fast as the first two extreme washes. This is a touchless car wash. This is rated for up to 40 cars an hour, 45 cars an hour. It's designed to fit in the same bay space, a 55 foot long interior building, keeping our correlator indoors, um, 16 feet wide, and 12 foot six high clear ceiling clearance. The Extreme Express touch free package doesn't have any friction for the top washing surfaces. It does have the entrance management system right after our eight foot correlator. We're utilizing the same 50 foot conveyor with the front wheel pull so we can maximize the conveyor length and the dwell time for the detergents. After the entrance photo eye, we'll be going into our first applicator arch. This will be a non-foaming liquid applicator arch with heated wash detergents. Um, but below that, we'll have our foaming CTAs to get long dwell time and good cleaning and penetration on our wheels. After the first